Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meet Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve sum based on internal rate of return, also known as IRR, under the chapter Project Selection, under the subject Project Management. Again, a very important topic for all the TY BMS students, those who are appearing for semester 6. We are going to solve one sum uh, to understand what is this internal rate of return and how to solve it. It's very simple, okay? A little lengthy, but it's very simple. So let us see how to solve first. We'll take a small uh, introduction on what is IRR and then we'll note down the formula and then we'll start solving that particular sum. Now, very first thing, what is IRR? Uh, internal rate of return is the rate of return that a project earns. Okay, that's the amount of uh, return that a project will earn. The rate of discount calculated by trial and error where the present value of future cash flow is equal to the present value of outflow which is known as the internal rate of return. So it said that the rate of discount calculated. In this we'll have something called as the PV factor discounting rate. And here it is calculated on the basis of trial and error. Trial and error meaning we'll be considering multiple PV factor rates and we will try to come to a conclusion what will be the rate of return that the project can earn. The formula for IRR is R1 plus NPV1 upon NPV1 minus NPV2 into R2 minus R1. The formula looks a little lengthy but it isn't that. Okay, uh, R1 stands for the lower discount rate. R2 is the higher discount rate. As I told you, there will be multiple rates, uh, PV factors which will be given to us. So we'll have two different rates. NPV1 is the higher net present value derived from R1. NPV2 is a lower net present value which is derived from R2. So we'll have to find two NPV here and two rates will be given to us. Okay. So we'll have to find the net present value for the two different rates that will be given and then we just have to apply into the formula. Okay. So now let us see how to solve the sum based on IRR. Mansi Industry Limited has an investment proper of uh, 40 lakhs. The expected cash inflow is under. So the initial cost or the initial investment is of 40 lakhs. That is cash outflow. The expected cash inflows are given 7 lakhs, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10 and 8 and 6. So 10 years ka cash inflows are given. The question says that calculate IRR with the help of 10% discounting factor and 15% discounting factor. So there are two different types of PV factors that are given to you. So we have to find twice NPV, one with the 10% PV factor and the other one with 15% PV factor. So now let us see how to solve such kind of sum. Okay, uh, I will get note on the question in the corner. Uh, we will have years, we will have the cash inflows. We'll have PV factor at 10%. We need to find PV. Then again, we'll have PV at 15% and we'll have to again find the PV. Okay. So very simple. 10 years are given. So under the year column, we noted on all the numbers up to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 years. Cash inflow may we'll note down all the cash inflows which are given to us. So it's 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 8 and 6. Okay. So we have 7 lakhs, 8 lakhs, 9 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 8 lakhs and lastly 6 lakhs. Now, PV factor at 10%. Again, that is already given to us for all the 10 years. So, we'll just have to note it down. So, it will be 0 0.909, 0 0.826, 0 0.751, 0 0.683, 0 0.621 and so on. So, we just have to note down, copy it from that question into our format. Now, in order to get a PV, it's very simple. It will be cash inflow multiply by PV factor and whatever answer we'll get is nothing but a present value. So 7 lakh into 0 0.909, again 7 lakh into 0 0.826, 8 lakhs into 0 0.751, 8 lakhs into 0 0.683, 9 lakh into 0 0.621 and so on. So you have to multiply cash inflow with the PV factor and the product what we'll get is nothing but a present value. So let's multiply them and once you multiply, we will get our present value as follows. Okay, so see that you can calculate it 7 lakh into 0 0.909 that will give you 6 lakhs 36,300. Again, when you multiply 7 lakhs with 0 0.826 and you will get the value as 5 lakhs 78, 200 and so on. So step number one, we noted down all the cash inflows. Step number two, PV factor. Step three, we multiplied and we got the present value at the rate of 10%. Now the same thing we'll have to repeat for PV factor at 15%. So we'll note down PV factor of 15% all the rates. 
so that is 0 0.870 0 0.756 0 0.658 0 0.572 and so on now again in order to find the pv very simple cash inflow multiply by pvf at 15 percent so it will be 7 lakhs into 0 0.870 again 7 lakhs into 0 0.756 and so on once you multiply we will get the following values as a present value at the rate of 15 percent okay this is the very first step that we need to fill up the table we noted on the cash inflow we noted on the pv factors at the rate of 10 percent and 15 multiplied them with the cash inflow and we got a present value now let us total the present value because for the formula of NPV I need total inflow. So when you add up the first at the 10% the total value that you should have got what 49,79,000 and same way for the 15% the PV should have been 40,36,700. Okay. Once we get the total now let us find the net present value also known as an NPV. So let's, uh, let us find for the NPV 1. So NPV1 ka formula will be PV of inflow which is 49,79,000 minus PV of outflow. Outflow is already given in our question that was 40 lakhs. So 4979 minus 40 lakh you will get uh, NPV of 9,79,000. Similarly we will have to find the second NPV for the second PV factor. Formula remains same we will have the inflow which is 40,36,700 and outflow is again 40 lakhs. So when you subtract our NPV2 will be 36,700. Now remember in order to substitute the value into the formula we need four, four amounts. We need lower PV factor which is 10, upper P, uh, you know higher PV factor which is 15 and we need two NPV. One is 9,79,000 and the other one is 36,700. So these are the four values that you require. Now let us see how we can substitute this in our formula. Okay. First, we'll just note down the NPV that we got. Okay, one was 9 like 79, the other one was 36,700. Okay, R1 is the lower, you know, the first PV factor. So we'll have 10% is the first. R2 is the second one, that is at 15. NPV1 is 9 like 79,000, NPV2 is 36,700. Based on these four values, we will substitute into the formula. And this is how it should look after substitution. IRR is equal to 10 plus 9,79,000 upon 9,79,000 minus 36,700 into 15 minus 10. Okay, so 15 minus 10 will give you 5 and we'll have to minus 9,79,000 minus 36,700. So when you do the minusing part, this is how it should look. It will be 10 upon 10 plus 9,79,000 upon 9,42,300 into 5. Now we will first solve this part. So we'll first divide 979 divided by 942300 into 5. Whatever answer we'll get, we need to add it to 10. So it will be 10 plus 5.19. When you add up your total, your final answer will come up to be 15.19%. That's our final IRR, that is the internal rate of return. So the, company, the project can earn you a return of up to 15.19%. This is how you all had to solve the sum based on IRR. Very simple, just have to apply into the formula, get two NPVs and get those values and substitute the value into the formula and you will get the answer. Okay, I hope everyone have understood how to solve problem sum based on IRR. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.